Thank you for staying tuned. Fishing is a major activity in Nigeria with men and women deriving their livelihoods from the trade, but the prevalent incident of illegal, unreported and unregulated fishing in Nigeria's waters have raised concerns as these has constituted a huge threat to the livelihoods in these local fishing communities. The assertion is that these illegal fishing activities are perpetrated in Nigerian waters by foreigners and an estimated sum of over $70 million is lost yearly to these criminal activities. And now joining us to talk about this menace, which has become a bane of Nigeria's blue economy, is Oluwa Sheyi Adeju Igbe, a maritime lawyer and a managing partner at Channel Legal Practitioners. Good afternoon, glad to have you join me. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure to be here. All right. Now, looking at the economic potential of Nigeria's ocean resources and also the huge sum lost yearly uh, to the illegal activity you know, of fishing, uh, what is your expectation of the mar marine as well as the blue economy you know, to help nip this menace in the bud? Thank you very much. Um, the maritime practitioners have for long you know, been longing for uh, a dedicated ministry to marine and blue economy. Um, now that we have one, the ministry or the minister per se now, um, in my reckoning, what has to be done is to make sure that there is a collaboration with the Ministry of Fisheries. Because as it is now in Nigeria, um, fishing, licensing, registration of fishing um, trawlers and all of that is under the auspices of the Ministry of Fisheries. And um, even in uh, laws, the minister referred to is a minister of fisheries. So I, I think that the minister for the marine and blue economy ministry must kind of um, collaborate with the fisheries department and um, find a way of, you know, having a blueprint. And this will not just be talking, but actually going beyond talking. Um, a lot can be done. Um, it's difficult to manage or to survey, I mean, to conduct surveillance of a vast coastline. But more can be done by, you know, empowering the navy, the navy, the Nigerian navy, um, and then you know, pumping more money into deep into the deep blue project. You know, um, providing the surveillance materials. And then we need to collaborate with our neighbors um, in the Gulf of Guinea. You know, um, I'm happy to know that Nigeria, because you know, the menace of illegal fishing is a global thing. Um, the IMO says it's an organized crime. So there's a, there's a lot riding on that on the global scene. So we can't do it alone. But the minister has to reach out and be, I mean, there has to be that determination to really bring this to an end or to um, bring it to a minimal level. All right, let's talk about the impact of illegal fishing on Nigeria's blue economy. What are they? Yeah, um, Nigeria is blessed with a vast um, coastline over 800 kilometers and um, we have so much, you know, of the marine resources, fish, um, hydrocarbons, you know, fauna, coral reefs. And um, with this illegal fishing, it impacts on the livelihood of artisanal fishermen. I mean, um, the woman in Ekwe or the fisherman somewhere in the Niger Delta, you know, because these um, illegal fishermen, you know, who engage in IUU fishing, the fish that they, you know, when they, when they catch the fish from us, it doesn't, we, we, the, 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 the sale, the, 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 the sale of the fish, you know, the, the sale, the value accruing from the sale of the fish, it doesn't accrue to us, you know, as a, as a nation. It's another country that kind of like, um, you know, um, takes the benefit of it. So it impacts on the livelihood of those local fishermen, um, the youths who should engage in fishing, you know, um, it impacts on you know, the, the, the youths, um, you know, getting fish, um, um, you know, revenues, 
to the government, you know, the revenue that should accrue to us is being di you know, diverted to other um, economies. And um, even what we should get from it, you know, the, uh, um, what is it called now? You know, the, 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 most people depend on fish as a source of protein. So when there's a death of that, it impacts on food security. So food security, the livelihood of fishermen, and then jobs for the young people or for the youths. All right, thank you so much for your expertise on the news. Oluwa Sheyi, Ade Juyigbe, thank you once again. My pleasure, thank you. Coming up, over 1,400 killed during festive season and road accident in South Africa. We'll bring you details of these and more when we get back. Stay with us.